how should I describe myself as an author? Well, I think, you know, working with films, you have, you have filters everywhere, you know, you always have to, to have your ideas or, or your, your uh, intuitions or whatever, you have to always filter it through a lot of people. If you compare it to writing or to painting or to composing or whatever, you are more or less alone. But when you work with, uh, with film, you have to have a fantastic energy to get your, you know, your sort of ideas through this apparatus, you know, through all these people, you know, the, all the people that are involved in the, in the movie. And as I say, if you have a, a certain level within film making, you can also treat the team in a particular way. You have to love humanity and, 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 and people, you know, that's a very important thing. That's why I've worked in the combination with documentaries and fiction and feature. To learn to know people that even in the most unsympathetic person, and this person very often knows himself that he might be not so liked. So when you meet him with an open mind, he gets surprised that there is one person that has seen something positive in him. And he delivers, you know, the goods, very personal, maybe for the first time, he relaxes. So I think that is a good experience to bring into features, to have a positive uh, approach to everybody you meet, you know, until the opposite is proved. <laughs> the first films I saw, I was uh, evacuated. I was living in an evacuation camp in German barracks, and we were, you know, situated outside a town. So my first experience in the cinema was to go to this town together with a gang because, you know, you had to be many people not to be uh, beaten down because everybody could see that you were a refugee. So we went together in groups to go to the cinema. So I saw the first cinema in, in this town and I remember very well, you know, uh, the Count of Monte Cristo was, I think, the very first film I saw and it was so exciting and so dramatic that during the show I wanted to go to a certain place, you know, to the toilet. And I decided I would not do it. So my pee was going down, you know, the trousers and into the shoes. Because I didn't leave the cinema. That was my first experience, I remember it very well. And I was sneaking out afterwards so nobody should see the river, you know, going down. That was the first thing. And then when we came back to my hometown, they had a cinema also in German barracks, actually. And there where I saw my first films and Norway being a very, you know, very strong social democracy after the war. Uh, they had laws, you know, to that we, were sh we should see all the films from all over the world, you know. They were equal and the cinema was the only place where you had, let's say, international entertainment. So I saw films, you know, French films, you know, Soviet films. Uh, Czechoslovakian films, Italian films, everything came to that cinema.